my name is Detective Ray Wilkinson with the Collier County Sheriff's Office Major Crimes Unit. On February 18, 2004, around 2.20 p.m., deputies with the Collier County Sheriff's Office were dispatched to a possible shooting at an apartment complex at 414 South 2nd Street, Immokalee, Florida. When deputies arrived at the apartment the complex, they discovered two men who had been shot. Both victims were pronounced dead at the scene. Upon my arrival, I discovered that one of the victims, Beignet Amin Pierre, 61-year-old, had been shot inside the apartment number 11. The second victim, Rafael Morales, 57 years old, had been shot in front of the apartment number 12 next door. Both men had been shot once in the chest. Crime scene investigators responded and processed the scene for fingerprints and other evidence. An area of canvas was conducted, but no suspects were located. During my investigation, I discovered that the apartment number 11 was being used as an illegal gambling operation called Bolito, where people would go to this place and place lottery type bets. Witnesses told deputies that shortly before the shooting, two men went into one of the local convenience stores inquiring about where they could go to place a bet. Witnesses offered vague descriptions of the men, noting both were black and one wore his hair in dreadlocks. Two men, including one of the dreadlocks, were seen entering apartment number 11 right before the shooting. According to witnesses' accounts, Witnesses were also advised that the suspects may have left in an unknown type white vehicle that was parked on the side street next to the apartment complex. During my investigation, possible suspects were developed. A photo lineup was also developed and shown to witnesses. However, there was no physical evidence linking the suspects to the crime and witnesses were unable to provide positive identification. I believe Pierre was the only person inside the apartment when he was shot. Merrillis was outside the apartment when he heard the gunshots coming from inside and was shot as he tried to intervene. I believe the suspects went to the apartment with the intent to commit a robbery. My investigation revealed money was missing from the apartment. This case continues to be under active investigation. I believe it is solvable because it happened in broad daylight in the middle of the afternoon while multiple people were in the vicinity of the apartment complex. I believe there are witnesses who have information about this case but they are either afraid to report it to authorities or fear being ostracized in the community as a snitch. If anyone has information about this case, please call the Collier County Sheriff's Office at 239-252-9300.